With rumors swirling around the White House again concerning top advisors leaving soon, either voluntarily or about to be fired, First Lady Melania Trump was the one making headlines on Tuesday. Through a spokeswoman, the First Lady declared that a national security advisor to the president should be dismissed. First Lady Melania Trump is calling for the firing of a deputy national security advisor. It's considered an extraordinary move from the office of the First Lady, which issued this statement today aimed directly at a top West Wing advisor. It is the position of the office of the First Lady that she no longer deserves the honor of serving in this White House. The First Lady spokeswoman, Stephanie Grisham, said she's Myra Ricardell, the deputy national security advisor who is tangled with several officials in the Trump White House, from Defense Secretary James Mattis to the First Lady. But today, Ricardell was standing only a few feet behind the president at a Diwani lighting ceremony marking India's most important holiday of the year. The First Lady and Ricardell were at odds during their recent trip to Africa. I give him my honest advice and honest opinions, and uh, then he does what he wants to do. It was on that trip where Mrs. Trump said she didn't trust all of the president's advisors. Has he had people that you didn't trust working for him? Yes. The latest dysfunction coming as a staff member shakeup is already looming in the West Wing and the cabinet. The president ignoring those questions today. Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen could be the next to go. Officials telling CNN president could ask for her resignation at any point. Thank you, sir, for your leadership. Thank you very much. Great job. She's been unable to win over on his signature issue, immigration and border security. It could touch off a domino of departures, including White House Chief of Staff John Kelly, who's Nielsen's top advocate in the administration. Trump is already talking to a handful of potential replacements for Kelly. CNN reports those possible replacements include elevating Vice President Pence's Chief of Staff Nick Ayers to the post. But as Democrats assume their majority in the House and prepare to open investigations of the administration, it's unclear whether ongoing turmoil in the West Wing could complicate recruiting qualified candidates. The president has rejected that premise. This is a hot White House. We are a White House that people want to work with. Now, the statement from the First Lady spokeswoman calling for the dismissal of the national security official is unusual, to say the least. Heretofore, First Ladies rarely, if ever, got involved in personnel issues in other branches of the White House, especially when it involves the national security sector. Jeff, back to you.